What if you were playing a normal Roblox game and suddenly, all crime becomes legal? Trespassing, burglary, shoplifting, stealing, and even murder. What would happen? They're all going crazy! Well, I wanted to find out. So my friend and I made this. And what is it? It's a normal It's The Purge. Yeah, you know from the title. So I got 100 of my fans to play the game, and they have no idea what to expect. My brother and I joined the game and started the round. Alright, start it. There's so many people in here. And right as people got in, something caught their eye. Machine. Dude, people are going crazy at the vending machine. So I should probably explain the vending machines. There's a limited amount of food in the game and you need it to survive. Right now, all the stores are locked, so this vending machine is the only way to get any. Get off the food. We can't get every report made like please I'm beating you. You know, they do have a line form though, it's kind of impressive. Anyways, other people started to explore the map, and some even found secret food stashes that I'd hid. Yeah, I lied. There's a little bit of food you can find, but it's gonna go quick. Wait! I see food! Yeah, more. Oh. Mine, 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 mine. People are grabbing like the last little bit of food there is. Hamburger. The last bit of food is all going. What, what, why is there a duck here? What? Dude, they've actually formed a line. What is going on? Surprisingly, people were being pretty civil, but that's all about to change. It's time to introduce this. The admin building. This is where everything in the entire game is controlled, and I've left my three friends in charge of it. Here, they can watch every player and do things like fling people, scare them, give them items, and even spawn a monster that'll hunt anyone it sees. But before any of that, they have to start the purge. Let's start it. And before that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video. War Thunder is an epic, free-to-play multiplayer action game that brings together the mightiest machines of land, sea, and air warfare. The game is available on PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Xbox. War Thunder has a huge variety of military equipment available for use, from iconic war machines to obscure prototypes from the mid-20th century to the present. Graphics, physics, and sound in War Thunder are constantly improving and top of the line. The attention to detail is sure to immerse you in the atmosphere and send you right into the heart of action. All advanced military technologies are available, like guided missiles, night vision, reconnaissance, and even a nuke that can flatten the entire map. War Thunder lets you play how you want, with tons of customizations and upgrades to make your experience unique. There's also no shortage of locations, from deserts and forests to snow-covered mountains. And with War Thunder's recent air superiority update, there's more to do than ever before. There's new advanced military equipment like the world-famous T-90M and SU-27, new modifications of Abrams Tusk II, the legendary fighter Gripen, and the F-15 Eagle. Explosions and other battle effects have also been completely overhauled so you feel like you're in a Hollywood movie. As well, with the new Volcano Valley map for air battles, you can test the latest aircraft and battles above active volcanoes. So, what are you waiting for? Download War Thunder for free today by using the link in the description. All new players and those who haven't played War Thunder for half a year or more will receive special bonuses. Speak rentals for the P-40E1 aircraft and M4 tank, along with free unique skins, a special decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lions, three premium vehicles for free, a week of premium account, and even more. So hurry up, the American vehicle bonus season ends soon. Back at the admin building, it's time to start the purge. Up until now, most of the buildings have been locked and people have been pretty civil. But that's all about to change. Oh, he's going to depress it. They all have no idea what's about to happen. This is an announcement of the annual purge. After no. the horn, all crime will be legal for the next 12 hours, including murder. Police will be unavailable until the purge is over. Good luck. Oh, got him! My ears, locked. Oh, people are realizing they can punch. How to punch? Please help, buddy. They're punching! They're all going crazy! It's that freak! Oh my gosh, some people are breaking into buildings. They're raiding all the stores. Oh my god, it's chaos, dude. Not many people are taking the signs, that's odd. <sighs> guy's hogging all the Bloxy Cola, dude. Save some for the rest of us. So, with the purge finally started, some people started to form teams and others ran off on their own. And the rest of them decided that it was everyone for themselves. This guy said, where are the guns? <gasps> what? Dude, this duck is stabbing people. <gasps> People are just turning on each other. Oh wait, the duck is here! Dude, the duck is going crazy! Oh! He 
made it inside. Why is Grandma here? Grandma just rolled up. Flashback. Who let Grandma on top of the radar base, dude? She's taking all the food. Dude, she's hogging. Yummy. my god, what is that freak? End of flashback. And as the day went on, it just got crazier. So this is Gamma Juice. You're gonna see him a few times, and he's the king of getting away. Why is this guy being targeted? This guy's got like barely any health. Yeah, he's fine for now. But this won't be the last we hear from him. For now, the sun is beginning to set. Most players had formed small teams at this point, and we're down to almost 75 players. This is one group, and they've started to explore farther out into the map. And they're about to pass something a little interesting. See, I've got some explaining to do. The purge normally ends 12 hours after it starts, but there's another way to stop it. I've put three locations across the map with secret puzzles that need to be solved. This group just walked past one of them. And if you solve all three, you get an item that'll let you inside the admin building where you can stop the purge. But it's not gonna be easy. Players will need to work together if they even want a chance at solving it. And let's see how they're doing with that. Ooh! These people are crazy. Nice. They've got like a whole game. People are going crazy at this house. Run, Gamma Juice, run! He's juking them. Oh, but he just trapped himself upstairs. Oh! He's running! Oh, he just juked them huge! Look at Gamma Juice run off into the sunset for the second time. Yeah, he lives to see another day. So everyone else started to spread out, and some groups claim certain areas. Now, remember earlier when I said the admins could spawn a monster? Well, they can do it three times throughout the round, and they're about to spawn the first. There we go. Dude, it's already going for people. Oh, but they might get inside. Let me jump scare Gears to Wicked. I saw Good them when the game, game right. first started. Uh yeah. Guys. <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> I bet they release stuff at night. Gamma Juice is still alive. Come open, please. We nice. Nice. I come in peace. Oopsies. What you got on you? Six burger knife and flashlight. As it turned to night, most people hid in buildings, but the monster is still out there. Oh, this person still might die. Ooh. Yeah, the monster got stuck. Well, while we have this time, I should probably explain this. Yeah, it's a sign that shows the entire map. And if you were paying attention, this blue dot wasn't here before. You see, when the admins spawn a monster to prevent people from winning, they reveal a new blue dot in the sign, giving a hint to where to go next. Oh, the monster's out now. And this guy was the first to figure out something's off with the sign. I don't know what he's doing right now. He's trying to calculate where it is. Oh no, not him! Yeah, so far nobody was noticing it. Everyone was just off in their own groups. Who's that monster? What are the admins doing? Okay, we got a team of two up here. This is a team you don't want to mess with. They're like traveling in a pack. They're breaking into this house over here. Something I should probably explain is nobody can see the names except for me. So everyone has no idea where everyone else is. They don't know. What is going on over here? Oh, they trapped it! That might be an OP strat. How are they gonna defeat it though? Oh, they're hitting it through the wall. They're actually hitting it. 
Dude, they're actually working together. They're doing a good job. Yeah, they finally defeated the first monster, and some people no. noticed the sign. The blue part is through. At this point, there's about 40 people left, and surprisingly, they all seem to be working together. We did it, celebrate, this guy says. Little does he know, there's still two more monsters. And speaking of which, we should probably check back on the admins. What if, right? What if? Hilarity. Big hilarity. Very funny. We send in another monster. Let's do it! So this is Sean, and he's actually the first one to find the right house. Everyone else just kept walking by, but the monster's going straight for him. Oh, he's shooting at him. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. Light work, no reaction. Oh, there's more people coming over. Oh. Light work, no reaction. Okay, it's got a little kick. Oh! Dude, what? Yeah, we lost a real one. He just single-handedly took down the second monster all on his own. Comment the, uh, goat emoji to show your respect. Oh my god, did you see Jeez, that? he exploded. But this ended up bringing some attention to the house. And somebody noticed the wall on the side of the mountain. Oh, look, they found it, they found it. People were finally making their way over to the house, and then this happened. Oh, somebody else found it too. They're going at it. Oh, they got it open. They're here. They found the next area. The water's fine. Yeah, this is the first puzzle, and they are not doing it right. To beat this puzzle, you have to drop three specific items in each box, and if you do it the right way, you get a key to the next puzzle. But it's gonna take a lot more than the three of these guys to figure it out. Hey guys, we kind of found an altar. I spire spa $50 per hour? He's a businessman. There's about 40 people left, and most of them are headed to the cave. There's so many people finding their way in now. Progress was, uh, slow. Oh, he got it! But people began to work together, and progress was being made. And after figuring out two of them, they eventually got the last. So they dropped all three at the same time, and... My, 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 my. Who got it? I might have snatched it. Oh, this guy's got it! Meet Ra, the first one to get the key. He led everyone back to the center and took a look at the map. And as they all decide to go back and get another key, Gamma Juice became everyone's target again. Dude, Gamma Juice is almost dead again. Gamma Juice better not die. I was joking. I'm joking! No, stop! Stop! He's insane! He's so good! Help. to deserve all that but you hate to see him go anyways everyone gathered around the sign as they tried to figure out where to go next this introduces our next main character we'll call him four i have an idea he figured out where the next blue dot was and raw followed him open sesame this is puzzle two and it's a lot simpler than the first i don't know who this guy is but he found his way here too so you go down into the basement and come face to face with an obby. But they weren't gonna let that stop him. Ron 4 made light work of the obby, and they were one step closer to turning off the purge. I got police key. Yeah, and just like that, they were done with Puzzle 2. Like 4 said, they now have the police key, which happens to go to this building, you've probably noticed. But the admins aren't gonna let them inside that easy. Back up! Though as night got closer to morning, four unlocked the police station. And in here, players have two options. They can either take all the loot they could ever want and run, or investigate this weird number thing above a hatch in the ground. But there were some other things to worry about first. Ice player is getting chased by it! Oh, the monster's here! Oh my god, you better keep the police key safe! Oh, 
Oh, the monster just got inside the store. They got it, they got it. They're gonna be able to kill it now. Oh, Ra is inside the building with the monster right now. Yeah, they killed the last monster. This means all that's left between them and turning off the purge is getting into the admin building. And it's probably time I tell you the purpose of the police building. Hidden beneath it is a hallway of rooms, a few of which have this. It's a blowtorch, and I've made it so it's the only tool in the game that can get into the admin building. But the only way to open the hatch is by clicking this book. And after doing that, you have 30 seconds to search before the hatch closes and locks. And if you're still down there when it closes, well, we might find out soon enough. We're down to less than 15 players. At this point, players had decided to work together entirely, and pretty quickly someone found the book. He found it! He found it! They ran down and started searching every room, but nobody noticed the closing hatch behind them. Yeah, they're now locked in, and everybody else thinks they left. Look, they said they dipped! They have no idea. Though so half the remaining people were stuck in the basement, and as the sun began to rise, the other group came back to the police station for one last look. They spent hours trying to figure out what to do, thinking they'd left the entire time, until, eventually, someone else found the book. Oh, they opened it! They opened it! They've got 25 seconds. And just like that, they were finally free. <laughs> Oh, they're blowtorching! Oh, they're fighting! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! So with the key from the admins, they made their way up the tower to the button. And with the purge now off, laws were back in place. I the and there were six people remaining. Three. We are the admins now. <laughs>